going to go to school tomorrow. Okay, quite a few hands. Quite a few hands. How many of you, when you are going to go to school tomorrow, might, you maybe won't, but might bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a peanut butter sandwich for lunch? Oh, I see a couple. Three. <laughs> or maybe you have school at home and you're going to have a peanut butter sandwich. That could be too, right? How many of you think maybe you'll just eat hot lunch at school? A few of you. And how many of you think you might have cold lunch, but it's not going to be a peanut butter sandwich? It's kind of hard to make that decision right now, isn't it? But we're going to just pretend, okay? So up here I have three bowls. I have three red bowls. And one of them says you're going to be a peanut butter sandwich eater. The middle one says you're going to have hot lunch. And the last one says you're going to have lunch from home, but it's not going to be peanut butter. So I want you to come up with your little card and put it in the right bowl for you. Okay? And let's see, I mean, if you're not going to school tomorrow, that's okay. You're still going to probably eat lunch tomorrow. So why don't you think about what you might have for lunch at home? Okay, so come on up, a couple of you at a time, so you can space it out a little bit. Go ahead, peanut butter eaters, hot lunch eaters, or lunch from home? You're going to have hot lunch? Okay, that's the one in the middle. This what you, what do you do most of the time? That's fine. Lots of hot lunches. They must have good lunches. They might have some hot lunches. They have some hot lunches. Hot lunch. Hot lunch. So, what do you think you're going to do hot lunch? Oh, you guys are going to make this really, really tricky. <laughs> so, right now, we have zero in our peanut butter sandwich bowl. It looks like most people are choosing to do hot lunch. That's the one that's got the most in it. I don't want to spill them out all over the place. But that's the one that has the most in it. There's like quite a few in here. And then there's just a couple. Actually, there's quite a few, I guess, four or five, that are hot lunch. Nope, not hot lunch. Hot lunch, but not at, but not peanut butter. So now, I have another question for you. How many of you even like peanut butter? Does anybody like peanut butter in here? Okay, lots of people like it. Now I have this question. We're going to just show our hands because I don't have more cards. But we have two different kinds of peanut butter here. I have a creamy kind, and I have a crunchy kind. Oh, I've seen some cheers for the crunchy. How many of you like the creamy kind better? Okay, like over half of you, I think, are creamy. How many of you like a crunchy kind? Oh. Okay, it's pretty close to pretty close to the same number, you guys. Yeah. Pretty close to the same number. So, some decisions that we have are no brainers. We can fit, we can make a decision. This morning, you made the decision to put on clothes and come to church. Maybe you didn't make the decision and mom and dad did for you, but there was a decision made. But you made the, how many decisions do you think you make in a day? Do you make any decisions during the day? What do you think? You probably what? Every day you make decisions, right? And sometimes those decisions are easy because they're kind of made for us. Like, it's time to go to church. You make a decision to get in the car, right? Or it's time to go to school. You make that decision to get on the bus or if you ride with mom or dad to school. So you make some decisions every day. Yes, way back there. Big voice. Sometimes those decisions are hard. I sometimes like if you go to a restaurant and you have to pick something. I eat all of them. You eat all of those. So yes, we were just saying if you can't hear me on the lot on the virtual, that sometimes a decision between pizza and cheeseburgers might be a hard decision. But 
some decisions, like I said, are no-brainers. We haven't figured it out. You guys didn't really have to think about creamy versus crunchy. A lot of you would have your idea of what you wanted or what your favorite was. You already had that figured out. And some decisions aren't so easy. So when we think about our story today, we think about that Queen Esther, she made some decisions. Remember we talked about how she was faithful and how she was courageous? Sometimes decisions are hard to make. But she, what did she do? What did she do when she had to make decisions? Who did she rely on? Anybody remember who she relied on? Anybody way back there? Way back, big boys. Okay, her cousin, she did rely on her cousin, you're right. Because she was living with her cousin, but who did who else did she rely on? Go for it. God. She relied on God, and so God was helping her to make those decisions in her life. They were some big decisions that she had to make. All right, so we can be reminded, too, that we can rely on God, and God's going to help us make big decisions, too. Maybe not about peanut butter, but maybe. But we can help, have God help us make decisions. All right, our prayer is super short, but we're going to pray together, and then you guys are going to head off to your groups, okay? So let's pray, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, Give us the courage to make right choices. 